So before we continue on our way to with the story plots, that now that we've uh through the Genophage and gotten Krogan and Torians on our side, the lost the Slarians and Plus Morden. Let's do some side chat. Remembers. Done that in a while. Start off with Joker. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces <laughs> overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there and needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Maybe? Yes, Shepard? How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the <laughs> oxygen. Which is and, she a, and she has a bit of humor. <laughs> I love the horror of my look on my face. <laughs> How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, <laughs> Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war right uh. now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. <laughs> you look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. <laughs> oh, I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with... I'm waiting for Jeff to actually get pervy. Desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Taking more advantage to talk to Morden before asked. 
Yeah, not opening the airlock. That'd be stupid. Okay, head down engineering then. Ravagers are former rack Ravagers. but the Reapers have transformed into heavy artillery through a process of implantation and uh -huh. genetic modification. As walking organic turrets, they can sustain and inflict considerable damage. Ravagers bear egg sacs that continuously spawn swarmers. If the sacs are destroyed either during combat or upon the Ravagers' death, their entire contents burst forth to charge the enemy and explode on contact. A dead Ravager expels a caustic gas and an acidic Okay, puddle. so just be careful when shooting them in... Thresher right. Maws are subterranean carnivores that spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. Threshers reproduce via spores that can lie dormant for I think millennia. that's a reuse from Essex. Is and DNA population. Basically, this is a full rundown of the Reaper procedure. Full process, husk processed. Okay. Yep. Why are you so interested in my people, Asari? Perthians are always an enigma. A mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Well. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here. I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian. All were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? war on our own then demand their help do not indulge their selfish requests what will saving one krogan matter if only it were that simple if they get in your way destroy them excuse me i apologize the previous occupant of this room left traces of himself i have absorbed some of them yes grunt he was a strong one maybe it's best if i let you recover that would be best. Commander? You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. 
There was illness in him. Then? And the Krogan who lived in these quarters, he was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only so, had to look around. the former. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Interesting thought. But this, by his time, they've been fighting the war with the Reapers for generations. So, Gabby, have you seen Edie's new body? Ah, oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work. <laughs> Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phase power cells. Mm hmm. If she ever accidentally... And there it is. There's just so much... Paddy. Ugh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Commander. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering yep. compartment? Daniel, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing yep. notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. Ugh, what Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system Do safer. it. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. All right. Jennifer is here, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. Commander, got sure. a minute? What do you want to know? Interview. You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. 
I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Kraven. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. All right. Eat. I remember to do that every time I do a story mission. Well, they've unlocked a whole bunch of armor pieces. Let's take a look at customizing my armor somewhat. For your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Alright, still no helmet. Okay, so that drops my health boost, but drops my melee damage. Drops weapon damage. And drop my health boost, but that's okay. Interesting, so... So having a helmet actually, having the N7 breather helmet actually be health boost. Um, I have arms, so those will boost my melee damage. Do that much melee base. Looks cool. Let's stick with what I got. Only applied most got my weapons the way I want them, so there's that. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. I'm clear I'm not hitting on it, because I know he's gay. And I respect his... Besides, uh, he and Liara. Dr. James and Hey, hey. Krogan and Turian still friends? For now. <sighs> it's just gotta last until this war's over, I guess. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So I'm a Lola, huh? Yeah, my best friend's sister growing up was Lola. Older sister. Hot. Tough. Seeing someone, so yeah. 
You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar, and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested That's in fair. talking about that. Next topic. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Back. Talk to the party members and call this a wrap. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Holy Tyvor crap. colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only a hundred and nine, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. I don't know if I could do this without you. Oh. Flatterer. I try. I'll see you soon, Shepard. And until those animation glitches. All right. Not good. <laughs> Two. Bring Shida unavailable, Karen unavailable.
Yeah, let's talk to Dr. Chuck. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Oh, super talk with on this level. Um, help Garrus. So, who needs their ass kicked now? So who needs their ass kicked? Not much to talk about right now. Okay. I'm a little bummed to miss my opportunity to talk to. Oh, just okay. You just sit down and talk to. Uh, Warden. The bridge. Wrap up this episode. The messages. That's nice to hear. Come on, back. trainer. Nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the war summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of the shoebox. <laughs> All right. And with that, save one more time. And we'll call this an episode. Thank you very much for watching.